What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, creator of the Outright Bar, and Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com. Oh, man, we've been on a whirlwind of diet shit for a little bit of time now, and I'm going to keep parlaying and getting across facts and truth about how you are getting ripped off and scammed by these overzealous diet book writing scam artists. They start out like they're gonna change the world. Oh, the vegans are all trying to make you malnourished and kill you. Oh, the world's gonna end, so we need to eat only impossible burgers full of soy slop. Oh, if you eat carbohydrate, your pancreas is gonna explode and you're gonna get diabetes and die. <coughs> Have you noticed something? And I noticed this, and I actually read a tweet by my good friend, Dr. Lane Norton. And this tweet got me thinking. Props to Lane for this tweet. The tweet said, carnivores say eating fruit and veggies cause disease. Vegans say eating meat cause disease. Keto followers say eating carbs cause disease. You notice that all of these over the top, completely exaggerated diets, be it no meat, be it no veggies and fruit, and be it no carbohydrate. You notice the one thing they have in common is they all basically make the most extreme case for you to eat their way, for you to buy their books, for you to follow their lifestyle. They are all arguing that if you do not eat their way, you will get disease and you will inevitably die. And they point to the most extreme outlying cases. Vegans point to fat people with diabetes on the standard American diet who happen to eat meat, usually in processed form alongside vegan foods like McDonald's French fries, full of carbohydrate and full of bullshit. And they go, oh, if you eat meat, you'll be like this guy. And then they'll compare him to a vegan who just went vegan like seven days ago, like Kai Green, I don't know, and be like, oh, Look at this comparison. This motherfucker ate meat, and he's fucking dead. This guy ate meat, and he's deadlifting 700 pounds. So you're comparing a genetically elite person eating whole natural foods to a person on the standard American diet of grease and shit. Carnivores, they will find the most emaciated, eating disorder riddled vegan or maybe a vegan with an autoimmune disorder that vegan veganism just didn't work with, be like, hey, this person went from eating all vegan foods to eating some meat, and they're fucking cured. For fuck's sakes, carnivores are even claiming that it's growing motherfuckers' hair back. They are claiming that going on the carnivore diet is literally like Rogaine hair for fucking men. If that was the case, I would literally send my brother 20 tons of fucking raw meat and have that bald motherfucker eat it all day fucking long. Being a carnivore, when coming from a malnourished diet, where you're literally lacking so many nutrients that you're losing your hair, all right. But to claim that a healthy individual eating a nutrient-rich food diet just switches to eating only meat and nothing else, and their fucking hair grows back. How are you fucking people believing this shit? And then the keto tards, they, I get this question on my Instagram story all the time. These motherfuckers honestly believe, they honestly believe that ketogenesis and not eating carbohydrate is the only way to lose fat. 
they believe that all carbohydrate will spike insulin and stunt fat loss. I don't want to be that guy. And you can say I'm on steroids, but so are a lot of people who are promoting these diets. I eat a lot of carbohydrate. Shit, I eat six to seven outright bars a day. <laughs> that's 30, about 30 grams of carbs per bar. That's almost about 200 grams of carbs just from outright bars. That's not counting my sweet potatoes, my toast, and all the other bullshit, my whipped cream addiction. Not one of you motherfuckers is leaner than me. Also, last I checked, Alberto Nunez, a natural bodybuilder, is leaner than all you motherfuckers. The reason keto works is it's cutting out an entire macronutrient. The yummy macronutrient, donuts are made of carbs. And other beautiful nutrients too. So what the fuck? Seriously, how are you guys falling for this shit? Oh, fuck. I feel bad, I'm drinking branch chains from machine fuel. Evidently these cause diabetes and cancer too. I'm gonna fucking keel over and die right now. <coughs> See, I'm dying. They were right. <coughs> I ate a carbohydrate, my pancreas just exploded. <sighs> Calm down, Mark. You're taking too much trend. Look, I don't want to sound like an extremist here. I know this might be too much for you guys to handle. I know that. The almighty Dr. Sean Baker and the people from the Game Changers have told you this is how it has to be. I know that Mark Bell said that there's a war on carbs. What? Somebody called Donald Trump. Take all the troops out of Syria. Let's fucking attack the carbs. Bear with me. Just stay with me for a second. Hold on. Bring it in. Bring it in! What if we ate a balanced diet? <gasps> let me rephrase that, let me calm down. Hold on, I gotta, let me hold on a stop. What if we ate a balanced diet? This might be fucking crazy, but let's, let's, bear with me. Bear with me. Just, just one minute, I need one, okay, five minutes, I ramble. What if we ate meat? I know you gotta kill that motherfucker, but like, I got these sharp canines and they like eating fucking meat. They just fucking do. And there's a lot of nutrients in beef and fish and uh, they're fucking tasty and bacon's good. What, what if we, we can minimize it. Like we don't have to eat a lot of meat. What if we ate, what if we ate ethically raised and you could buy it pretty cheap at Aldi. Aldi's got grass fed beef, five bucks a pound. It's not bad. If you're broke, I'm sure it's not that big of a difference. Right? You get it for like two bucks for a chub. So check out, you eat some meat or some wild caught sustainable fish. What if we ate that and some pasture raised eggs? Now, I know that's crazy, okay? Let's say we throw those in the diet. And for convenience for extra protein, if you can't get enough protein from meat, what if we threw in some MTS whey or some even ambrosia planta for those of you who want to cut down on your animal products? Maybe that's the way you cut down on your animal product consumption if you want to do that. Maybe throw in a couple scoops of planta a day. Well, MTS way is delicious. Fuck it. I make money on it. Ain't gonna lie. I like it and it's fucking delicious and I take a lot of it in. And then like you have a snack, you have your nuts and outright bars and shit like that, right? Now here's, follow me. Say if you wake up in the morning, you make those fucking eggs. Bear with me. You make some toast. 
I know it's crazy, keto people. You make some toast. You put your eggs on that toast. I know it's crazy, but you make your calories controlled. So you're not eating too much where you don't put on fat. It might even help fuel your workout. And then like, what if we did something crazy and add some deliciously cooked vegetables, maybe some grilled broccoli, asparagus, maybe put that shit in the air fryer, make it delicious, bake it a little bit, some squash, fuck corn on the cob, maybe even, maybe even sweet potato, what? Yeah, sweet potato has carbohydrate in it, but it's chock full of, I believe eight ounces has like six to 800 milligrams of potassium, micronutrients. And this one, what if we added healthy fats? What if you just got it from those eggs you ate or maybe the beef or maybe that wild caught salmon we talked about? And then like, you could eat a banana or an apple and then you do something really fucking crazy, which is count your calories. And once you figure out what your maintenance is, if you want to lose weight, you decrease them. If you want to gain weight, you increase them. What? I know this is extreme. But y'all need to stop following these scam artists, man. You're getting sold ebooks and book books and, and all this shit. I am forthright. See that M right there? That's my fucking supplement brand. And I make supplements to help everybody, man. If you're a vegan, I got your fucking back. I got you vegan outright bars. I got you ambrosia planta. I got you even vegan vitamin D3. I even, found, even sourced a vegan. You know where vegan, you know where D3's from? Vitamin D comes from sheep's wool grease. That's where it's from, sheep's wool grease. That's its source. I get it from lichens, which is a naturally grown renewable moss source. Okay, I love vegans, carnivores, keto people, y'all need electrolytes. Y'all ain't got any carbs, your electrolytes all fucked up. I got natural light. Fucking beautiful. All the electrolytes you need. I love all y'all, cause y'all can buy my shit. But I'm just being real, like, this diet game, I'm tired of seeing people jump on teams. It's not sustainable, Mr. Carnivore. Do you really think 10 years from now, you're gonna be craving that second fucking ribeye? Mr. Vegan, you realize that over 75% of vegetarians eat meat when they're drunk? Humans just really fucking like bacon. And if you're not bought in because the ethical and the environmental reasons, doing it for health is kind of silly. Because all the studies mentioned in Game Changers are kind of bullshit studies. Follow the money. I know I'm screaming, but this is a funny video. This is a rant because I am sick and tired of people claiming that food makes you sick and tired. Guys, food heals and all kinds of food can heal. I'll state for the record, man, you can perform just fine as a ketogenic person. You can perform just fine as a vegan and you can perform just fine as a carnivore, but you won't be optimal. The optimal diet is something you could adhere to for the rest of your life. The optimal diet is something that provides micronutrients. The optimal diet does provide some fiber and the optimal diet does contain meat. Sorry to say, it does contain meat. Do you need meat? No. Does it help? Yes. It fucking does in my opinion. Just cut back on it if you feel that environmental need, right? Have one eight ounce serving a day of something really rich, like grass fed beef or bison or wild caught fish. Cut back on it, that's fine. But include it in your diet. Include just a little bit. But if you don't, that's fine. You can be a good vegan. But guys, you don't have to choose teams. You don't have to choose team. Join team independent. Politics. Diet, 
If you're an American, and even if you're not, there's nothing better than being independent, than having freedom. You don't have to follow this guy. You don't have to follow that guy. You don't have to drink the fucking Kool-Aid. Especially you carnivores and keto people. You can't drink Kool-Aid because there's sugar in it. You can think for yourself. Read the research. Don't fall for the hype. And if something claims that the other thing will cause disease and fucking kill you, they might be right. But if the other cause says the same fucking thing, they might be all just fucking with you. And that's what they're doing. Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. Please share this because people need to find out. People need to find out that they're being fucking sold a bill of goods. And if anybody's gonna sell anybody anything, it's gonna be me selling y'all some outright bars in MTS way. Cause I got bills to pay. All right? By the way, my ebook on balanced dieting comes out in three days. I've been eating a balanced diet for the last two days and I figure it'll take me two days to write it, one day to make it up. It'll be out then. Just kidding. But the book I wrote three years ago, dropfactorbook.com, that's dropfactorbook.com. Dropfactorbook.com. It's free. It's fucking free. And it's balanced as fuck. There's carbs, there's fat, there's meat, there's veggies, and that's not a game. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Look who I ran into in LA. I've been watching videos a long time. Tell everybody this protein bar. So it's the outright bar, man. It's all natural ingredients made with real food. None of that. You ever, you ever want to work out? You want just a little snack, a little bar before training, but you know the other bars might give you a gut bomb. Right. This is something that doesn't have any prebiotic fiber, no glycerin, no sugar alcohols. It's whole real food. That is a tasty bar. Really? It's easy to eat. It's not too chewy. Normally eat something like this with a big ass glass of milk. That's good. <laughs> so it's like a cookie. It's not really good. good. If you want, we also have the, want to try the almond butter one while we're here? I'd love to. All right, so this is, bar. this is made with almond butter, Steve. That's a one or two. Really? It's badass. Yeah. Good protein bars, working people find these. Well, they can find it at any retail stores. You can find it at tigerfitness.com. Two badass protein bars. So oh. they get uh, two double uh, metal fingers up <laughs> from Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line.